Check it again. Commander. Check the charts again. Running navigational software and sonar sweep. Again. Sonar is still non-functional. No surprise there. And analog record of our coordinates is the same. Officer Campbell, what's the status on that diagnostic? Ship's computer system is running normally, Commander. Ophelia's run three self-checks and I've done two manually. There's no problem with the Rusalka's hardware or software. Has to be. Look at these coordinates, look. Right now we should be here, see? There should be islands here and here, somewhere to stock up on supplies, refuel. Got the window? Nothing. Just open ocean. We're approximately 390,000 square miles further south than we should be. Which means we've been running off course for days. Maybe weeks. And Ophelia hasn't caught it? It has to be a problem with engineering. I need you to tell me what you did. I... I... Pip didn't do anything. I did. Dr. Atlas... It's all right. I've been making adjustments to the heading for the past few weeks. Every night on the graveyard shift. You... what? Is everyone okay? What the hell was that? Did we hit something? It... it sounded like we've run aground. Whoa, okay. Who turned out the lights? Ophelia's rebooting her systems. Automatic damage check. It's a safety precaution I installed. Everything but life support shuts down after a bad crash so nothing blows up. She should be coming back online in a few minutes. I think we should take a look outside. See what it was we hit. Get a sense of the damage. Commander? Commander Scarlet, are you okay? What do you mean you've been adjusting our heading? You really want to do this? Now? Pip? Harper? Why don't you two go check out the crash? We'll be with you in a moment. All right, Commander. Where would you like to start? Are you sure about this? Sure. We weren't submerged when we crashed, and we can get a better look at the damage from outside. It'll at least give us a bit of light. Hold the flashlight steady while I open the hatch, will you? There was nothing on the radar. It's probably just a reef. Maybe. Harper, do you think Commander Scarlet was right? No. I think we're in a boat that should have been decommissioned before we were born, and things are bound to break when you try to integrate technologies from different centuries. Don't listen to Scarlet, okay? She's just... I don't know. Stressed. Things have been weird lately, but you're doing fine. Things break, but that's why we have you around. She knows that. <sighs> Though I don't think it'd kill you to do something about the heat. It's freezing in here. The reboot probably shut off the central heating. But it shouldn't be this cold. Yeah, well, as soon as we're done outside, I'm getting a sweater. Whoa. How far off course did Scarlet say we were? Weeks of research and calculations. All of the notes I've been acquiring and you decide to throw it all down the drain. And for what? To satisfy your army of insecurity? We're here to track down your boyfriend's little pets. How exactly are we supposed to do that if we don't cover every square inch of territory? But we have a brilliant opportunity to do so much more than that and you are missing it! Oh, then by all means, do enlighten me, doctor! The fact of the Guys, matter is, the closer we have gotten to the center of the Bermuda Triangle, the more of these monsters we find. I have a theory that they are all concentrating there for a reason, and if we can just figure out... <laughs> Guys... <laughs> It's not funny. No, you're right. It's not. You're out of your mind. And you're either so arrogant or you think I'm so stupid that you honestly thought you could get away with hijacking my ship to go off chasing fairy tales. Well, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you, Captain? Hey! What? You need to come outside. Are we sinking? Not exactly. What the hell? Harper thinks it's an iceberg. I think it's Antarctica. That's not possible. But it's pretty cool, right? Check it out. Harper, get back here. It's okay. It's totally safe. We've already tested it. It is not safe. You don't know if that thing's solid or not. How far it goes? Oh, what's out in that snow? You don't even know what it's made of. Ice? 
We're in the tropics. There are no icebergs or blizzards in the tropics. And you, Adrian, are you ever going to have any sort of opinion on this or am I going to have to deal with this all myself? This is your fault. What? You. You did this. Oh, yes, I made an iceberg and a snowstorm appear out of thin air. Brilliant deduction. Look at where we are, Atlas. You. You and your stupid theories. You scheme and you screw around. And for what? You've wasted time. You've wasted resources. You went over my head and your little games nearly got us all killed. And now this. You deliberately sailed us into danger because you felt like it, and have been doing so without my consent for I don't even want to think about how long, and with the equipment on the fritz. Do you even know where we are? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. A normal person might have taken that into consideration. We're turning back. As soon as Ophelia's done rebooting, we are headed back, starting over. But end of discussion. Everybody back inside. I said back inside. I will not let you throw away all of my hard work just because you feel mildly uncomfortable. Mildly uncomfortable! Yes! Put your big girl panties on, Adrian. This is what you signed up for. What exactly did you think this little adventure was all about? Stop stalling. I'm doing my job. No, I'm doing your job. Unless otherwise explicitly stated in your military training manual what you should do, you just stand by and bully the crew. So do us all a favor and stay out of my way. I... Commander... Adrian, I'm... You know I... what? Fine. Commander Scarlet? Fine. Adrian, wait. Nope. You want my job so bad? Keep it. Adrian, come back! Where are you going? Commander! She'll freeze to death out there. I'll get her. Hoppa, Hoppa, get back here! Are we just gonna let them... No. Come on, we'll all freeze together. Or not at all. Preferably not at all. Ah! Harper! Harper! Where? I'm here. I I'm here. I I'm okay. Careful, there's a ledge. Or I, I just slipped. Let me see. You're all right. Nothing broken. This is why we don't go racing off in the middle of a snowstorm. I lost her. That's all right. Pip, get Harper back to the Rusalka in one piece. She's soaked. Make sure she changes, and then we can work out how to... to... Pippa, are you listening to me? It's a footprint. What? The ledge. It's a ditch. Only if you're sitting in it. Look. That is a very big ball print. It's huge. What is it? Don't look at me. I mean, there is a story. A ghost story, really. Something to explain bodies in the snow, tracks in the ice, people who don't come home. The Inuit people have this legend about this giant orca that shapeshifts into a wolf so it can hunt on land and sea. It's supposed to be the ultimate predator, the brutal, merciless hunter-tracker that crawls out of the sea and devours anything it comes across. They call it the Auckland. You two get back to the ship. What about... I will find Commander Scarlet, but you two... We're not leaving. Hapa... Stay by me. Stay very, very close. Still. Useless. Look at me. I'm Natalia Atlas. I wear leather jackets and practice medicine like a serial killer with a hacksaw. Oh, nobody's smarter than me. What's that you say, Commander Scarlet? Be a reasonable second in command and just do what you tell me so that we can complete our mission objective without killing anybody? Hmm. Well, nobody else on the crew seems to be doing that, so I'm not going to either. I think I'll just get us all lost and crash the submarine into a freaking iceberg and let everybody freeze to death. 
Yeah. We'll see how that works out for you, Doc. I'll take my chances on the ice. There's this great big mountain up ahead and I'll just find a cave. Go ice fishing. Spend the rest of my life trapped on this stupid frozen ball of crap. But I'll outlive you, that's for sure. I'll be a hermit, but I'll be a live hermit. You hear that? So screw you, I win! Hello? Atlas? Atlas? What? You're just gonna hide behind the snowbanks, is that it? I can hear you out there, come on! Come out where I can see you! Well? This, this isn't funny, you know, it's cold and I, I can't see enough of the games. Atlas! Oh, Come in! Oh! Harper! Jesus, don't do that! You're okay! Oof! Harper, um, I... I'm fine, I, I, I just needed some air. Okay, get off! I'm not much of a hugger, so... You can let go now. It's not a hug. It's a safety precaution. It's freezing out here. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I know. Are you... Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, sure. I will be. But I mean... It's all going wrong, isn't it? I did something and... It's all going to hell. Everything is just so out of my control. I mean, the ship, the crew, the, the mission, it's, somebody's gonna get themselves killed out here and that's my fault. Scarlet, none of us would be alive right now if it weren't for you. I'd have drowned on like day one. Atlas and Pip would have been eaten by sirens. You know that, right? We wouldn't be here without you. No offense, Harper. We're standing on an iceberg where, logically speaking, no iceberg should be. Ever. So, here isn't exactly where I want to be. And it isn't where any competent leader would have landed her crew. Which means I screwed up. Again. Adrian. I'm just sick of everything going wrong. We heard shouting. Is everyone okay? Yeah. Yeah. That was me. Just got a little turned around in the snow. I was just trying to head back. Harper found me. Adrian, I... Forget it. I'm sorry. Yeah, thanks. We should head back. I don't think this storm is letting up anytime soon. We won't make it back to the ship before dark. Temperature's already dropping. Our best bet might be to find shelter out here. There's a mountain up ahead. I was thinking there might be a cave or something. We'll wait for the storm to pass. Um, Commander? What is it, Pip? I don't think we should go that way. Why not? Hop has been telling us ghost stories. It's nothing. Monster stories. And if you thought it was nothing, why didn't you send us back to the ship? I didn't want you to be eaten by wolves, or more likely to fall into a snowbank or ice fissure. Yeah, okay. What are you talking about? We found tracks, big ones, moving in this general direction, and there was this noise. That loud, creepy howling? Oh, I was really hoping you were going to say that's just the wind. We think there might be an occlute out here. Gesundheit. Giant, ancient, Inuit wolf monster. Okay. Shelter. I vote we head back to the ship because guns and an engine. Atlas, you're not armed, are you? Not at the moment. Then you lead the way. I'll cover the rear. With what, exactly? Pistol. What? It's not much, but it's better than a snowball. Commander, can we get moving, please? Aw, your toesy's getting cold. Yes, and that mountain just moved! <laughs> Move fast, but stay together. But Predators aim for the smallest of the group in stragglers. Do not separate and don't leave a woman behind. In this storm, we can't possibly outrun- I didn't ask you for statistics, Doctor. I asked you to have my back. Can you do that? Yes, always. Do you know the way back? I am- Doctor! Yes, yes. Good. Just back away. Slowly. <laughs> On my signal, we run. Any better than we can. You don't know that. It could have super blizzard vision. <laughs> Shut up. Nice doggy. Nice giant murder puppy. Good boy. Ooh. Run! <gasps> 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 I see it! I see the 
Oh, oh, we're not gonna make we're it. We're gonna make it. Keep moving. Oh. The ice. It's breaking. Keep moving. Go, go, go. We're going to make it. Oh. Is everyone okay? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was way too close. It just went right through the ice. It fell right through the ice. Is it dead? <sighs> Don't count on it. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to the yeah. ship. And Scarlet, I thought you were in bed. Out for a midnight stroll, Doctor? Something like that. You've got a lot of nerve. Adrian, don't. You really think I'm gonna let you anywhere near these controls ever again? After the day we've just had? I wish you could understand. I... Well, I can't. And you haven't exactly been forthcoming with answers. You say you know better. Hell, you've got the balls to go around acting like you're in command around here. So you got to know something. So come on, share with the class. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Fine. You want to be like that? Fine. Do what you like. Get us killed. You know what's best, right? I'm not... No. I obviously can't rein you in. So I'm game. I'll go along for the ride. You've obviously got some sort of grand master plan. So just this once, I'll let you have it your way. You don't like me very much, do you? I like you fine. I just... What? You know, some women do drugs or climb mountains. Or so, or sleep with strangers. You make bad decisions. Must be quite the kick. He was wrong. Killian was wrong to choose you. If you want to lead this mission so badly, then why don't you? I could, easily. And I think we both know the girls would be happy to follow me. But you're wrong. That's not what Killian asked me to do. I've absolutely no interest in mutiny. If I did, you'd be dead. Is that a threat? Just a fact. You might not like it, but it's the truth. I don't want to see you fail. I consider you my friend. But this mission means more to me than you do. You're out of your depth. You don't know what you're up against. And the way you're running things, it's starting to look like failure is your only option. Unless I do things your way. Unless we work together. I'm no leader. I'm not trying to take your place. I'm here to facilitate. But there are some things... I need you to trust me. I did. Now? I... Good night, Doctor. Good night, Captain. Atlas? Yes. Don't call me that. Ever. Yes, Commander. Good night. Yeah. Night. This has been a Black Lace and Laser Beams production in association with Stone Street Studios. Here Be Dragons is written by Jordan Cobb. Our editor and director is Christina Regal. Our composer is Daryl Banner. Our executive producers are Jonathan Cobb and Suzanne Douglas. Harper Bennett and Dr. Natalia Atlas were played by Jordan Cobb. Pippa Campbell was played by Christina Regal. Commander Adrian Scarlett was played by Ellie Gossage. Are you dying to know what happens next? Keep up to date by following us on Facebook, Tumblr, and Twitter, 
or visit our website at herebedragonsradio.com for updates and bonus material from the cast and crew. Or feel free to subscribe, leave us a review, or donate on Patreon or GoFundMe to keep us afloat as the adventure continues. want an honest answer, you're going to need to be far more specific. You said it would be alright if we adjusted the ship's course. You said we were following orders. And we were. Just not Commander Scarlet's. Why didn't you tell me? Because it might have changed your mind. And I enjoyed having your company. The graveyard shift is a lot less depressing when there's someone to talk to. Me? I don't know. Are we really lost? No. But for now, I think it might be best that the commander not know that. Why? Because she won't like where we're headed. And she's a proud woman. Doesn't like to accept anyone else's help. I think she finds it threatening. And frankly, it would take too long, and I'm not sure she'd understand anyway. You told me. Not much. But that's different. You were made for this. You have a better understanding. So where are we headed? South. Warmer waters. Weirder territory. I have a strong feeling we'll find Killian's hounds there. Amongst other things. How much of this have you told Harper? Nothing. She's your best friend. You told me not to. That I did. Because there's a very good chance that she'd tell Scarlet and then... Adventure's over. Precisely. And I can't... Gillian would hate to see that happen. Are you two... You want to think very carefully about the phrasing of that question. You guys have worked together for a long time? A very long time. He's my best friend. This project is probably the closest thing either of us will ever have to a child. I realize I'm being unfair, underhanded. But it's very important that we get this right. We've been working towards this since we were your age, at least. And chances like this don't just happen. It's bad enough Killian's not here. I'm not going to lose everything just to let Scarlet feel better about being in charge. You and Killian aren't separated that often, are you? What makes you say that? You're homesick. Yes. I suppose I am. <laughs>